It's a Deep Slant 101 presented by Xfinity and joining me this week, Tank Dell, breaking in our brand new set. So first of all, thank you so much for yes, joining us. Thank you. Our little living room set. Um, I, all right. So Nathaniel Tank Dell. No, nah, not I felt like I should make it formal. No, no, Nathaniel. Mm -mm. Anyone ever call you Nathaniel? <laughs> no. Nobody does? <laughs> not nah. even like your grandmother, parents? No, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, okay. So he's like, you're officially Tank Dell, like on all your legal stuff. You had a lot of family, speaking of family, in Jacksonville yeah, at the game. So that was exciting. I love that you said your little brother wanted to uh, talk to CJ and Will after the game. Yeah, that's all he wanted to do. <laughs> yeah, like I was not even there. Who all did you have at the game in Jacksonville? Um, I know my mom, my little brother, of course, my pops, my sister, my niece, my sister, baby. Um, my brother, my other brother, my sister, um, my sister boyfriend. And then, like, all my uncles. Oh, wow. So how many people would you say? It was probably, like, 20-plus um, for sure. Wow. Yeah. Do you, are you going to have a family at the home game? Um, Probably on my um, the week before my birthday or two weeks before my birthday. They're going to um, try to make one. She was My mom was talking to me about making this next one that's um coming up. The Steelers game. Yeah, but okay. I don't think she can make it because of her job it, and stuff. So. so they all live in Florida, yep. and you don't have any family in Houston? Nah. Like you're, I feel like you're so Houstonian. That's wild yeah. to me that you don't <laughs> have it. I don't know why people think I'm from here. Well, because you are very pro-Houston. Yeah, you, you are like very proud of the city and being from here, so I guess everyone just thinks you're from here. Yeah. We know you're from Florida. I actually, speaking of Houston, saw you at the Beyonce concert. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> Um, you look stuck. It was you and CJ. You guys had just come yeah, back. Yeah, like, ain't no way. <laughs> ain't no way. <laughs> but nah, the um, concert was good. Me and CJ only stayed like 20 minutes, though. We it was tired. long, and you guys are probably tired, yeah. right? We And then she took like 30 years to come out, so we was like... She was a little late, yes. Yeah. Okay, so you're not a, like an official <laughs> like fan of I Beehive. Love her, I love her music, but... The concert's not really my thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you stayed for about 20 minutes and then you dipped. I had to go. All right, so you and CJ, you guys also went back for the first Cougars game, right, this season? Oh, yeah, we did. First football game. Okay, was that that was probably, I assume, the first time he'd Ever gone came, to. Yeah, um, he kind of dissing on us. Like, oh, oh, he was? Nah, okay. he wasn't dissing. <laughs> he, he, he loved it, though, but he was like, he going to take me to the um, Ohio State game during our bye week. Okay. I think they play, I don't know who they play. But he said he was going to take me there, and I was going to see the atmosphere and stuff like that. He was like, "You, I'm going to show you a real atmosphere. Oh, <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's going to show you an Ohio State game. Yeah, so I'm waiting on it. You guys are so close. It seems like you guys do a lot of stuff off the field together. Is, I mean, is that just from being two rookies um, together or just because of the positions? Like, what's what's your relationship like off the I field? I just feel like we just connect well with each other. Um, He understand me as, like, outside of football, like, just as a human being and as a person. And then I understand him, like, man, he we be having some deep conversations and things like that. And then on the field, you know, like, we connect, like, um, I feel like we, like, the best of friends when we on the field. Um, so we're just like that, man. We just connect well with each other. What, are you guys very similar in your personalities? Or are you different? Yeah, we similar. He, he, like he in what joke, way? He joke all day. He and does. I, and I joke back. So. You, I can see. I feel like you're very, like, out there. He's more of a yeah. quarterback. We see movie, movie, the more serious side of him sometimes. Yeah, when we in the building. But when we outside the building, man, that man is a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Even in the locker room. Like, people don't see the locker room, CJ. Um, for, he's a man of God, for sure. Like, faith and all that. But I can see that, for sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. And But he has his moments when he's going to, like, crack all day. <laughs> but it's fun, though. The, one of the first stories we heard about you, obviously, when you got drafted, was that you you DM the Texans, what, <laughs> last December, and then the Texans drafted CJ, day one, but that CJ was really lobbying for the Texans to draft. you. Like, all of Houston wanted you here, I felt like. Mm -hmm. So how was that possible for that him wanting to have you here? Did you know him that well before you guys were on this team together? Um, I knew, yeah, I, I didn't know him, like, personally, but I knew, like, from me watching football and oh, loving okay. sports and stuff like that. Like, I knew he was a, a great quarterback at Ohio State. And then we did actually meet at the Combine. So when we met at the Combine, we chopped it up for a little minute. and You did? Yeah, we met at the Combine, and we were just like, he was just, he came up, and we were just talking about ball and stuff like that. And he was just like, I love your game. I told him the same thing and then kept talking about other stuff. And then, you know, we're here now, so. <laughs> yeah, it seems like he's very approachable considering he played at such nah, a high level. He is. Yeah. Yeah, he you was, would agree I, with I that. I saw that when I first um, spoke with him. Like, he's very genuine. You know, like, we sat there for, like, a good five, ten minutes talking, just chopping it up about stuff. And then, 
you know, God blessed us to be with each other. Yeah, obviously he wanted you here, and you guys have done some really great things in your yes, first ma'am. two games together. So first 100-yard hundred hundred yard receiving game, touchdowns and back-to-back games. Uh, are you surprised by the start that you've had? <clears throat> nah, never. Um, I put the work in. You know, I'm very confident in myself. You know, playing this sport, you got to have confidence. So every time I step on the field, I want to be, you know, I want to be one of the best. You know, I'm going to give it everything I got for sure for my team, myself. And not just my confidence through the roof, man. So I feel like I done been through it all. So just go out there with putting my best foot forward and, you know, whatever happens, happens. But I, I felt I felt the game coming. You know, I didn't know it was going to come early like this. You oh, you know. felt like a big game was coming for you. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, just I feel like, you know, once you put that hard work in throughout the year, throughout the season, um, before the season, doing the um, training and all that, once you put the work in, you know, you, God just, just blessings coming, you know, so... I knew it was going to come. I just didn't know this early, but thank God. <laughs> I mean, you seem to always get open. You seem to always make those big plays. What do you think separates your game from, like, other receivers out there? Um, what makes you so different? Man, I don't know. There's a lot of great receivers. Um, but I do know, like, within myself, I know how to get open. Um, just the nag of getting open, being a separator, route runner, because, you know, I don't have I'm – I'm not the biggest guy, so I get open in other ways, like – I got the speed, you know, I know how to stop on a dime and um, get in and out my cut. So I rely on that for sure. But just catching the ball, like staying out of practice, catching the ball, running routes, just keep, even if the route, if I know I can run this route in my sleep, I'm just going to keep drilling it. So once the game day come, you know, it just be like just me out there having fun. So that's how I do it. Your your journey is one that's so interesting because you started off at Juco Junior Community College, and then you you, were, you started at a few different places before yeah, you actually made it at, Houston. Um, I started at in the HBCU level, so I started okay. at Alabama A and M. Then I went Juco after like my I stayed there through the summer workouts in the first semester, and then after that I went to Juco. Okay, so the spring semester. That's when. I Why was that the route that you had to take out of high school? Were you not able to go into another school? Did you want to start at an HBCU? And and why were you? Why did you change? I wanted to start at the biggest level. You did? Okay. Yeah, I just didn't have the opportunities. You know, um, coming out of high school, I had one offer from um, FIU. That story, everybody knows that story. Um, took my offer, stuff like that. But my best friend, his dad was a running back coach at Alabama and them. Gay, um, he blessed me with the opportunity to get the offer scholarship from them. Went there, and then I just bettered on myself after that. So. Okay, so at what point, like, I, I would think that if you go through all that, you think – this is really tough. Like, I didn't get a lot of offers. I got to go through all these different avenues to make it. Did Did you ever feel like maybe the NFL thing isn't going to happen, or did you always feel like that was going to be in the cards for you? I was. I, I always, you always knew. Yeah, I was going to get here. Um, you did. One way or another, um, I, I felt like I was going to get there. You know, um, it was times where I did doubt myself, like, um, like, cause it was a lot of stuff. I ain't gonna lie, going to JUCO, then not having really too many offers of coming out of JUCO and stuff like that. But once I did get the opportunity to go to Houston, I knew like all I had to do was just work hard, you know, work hard and put it out on displayment um, on Saturdays, and I would have the opportunity, you know. So that was my mindset once I did get there. But in JUCO, it was a, it was a little rough road. But I feel like it. the guys that go to JUCO and then make it to the collegiate level, they are so. They're di- they're just different. I think it's just different because you had you had to work so hard to even get to that college level that might have come a lot easier for some other uh, guys. Definitely. All right, so you you wear a necklace that says Flash. That's your nickname, <laughs> Flash. But I feel like you you are flashy, but yet you work really hard, and obviously you've had to work really hard to get to this point. Uh, what do you like off the field? I've seen your Instagram. I think everybody's seen your Instagram. You like to dress. You like the fashion. You like the drip. What's what's your whole vibe like outside of Man, sports? Off the field. I'm being completely honest, like especially during season, mm-hmm. I don't do nothing. I probably go home and play um, Call of Duty all day. Call of Duty, yeah, okay, not sure. like. <laughs> <laughs> I get home. Are you I playing get, with teammates, or are you just like? I'm playing with um, some of my friends back home. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I go home. That's how I like connect, like stay in touch with my boys back home. Um, okay. Just get on a game after you know it's season, so of course filming all that. But yeah, you know, on my free time when I want some downtime, I get on the game and I just sit there all day and play the game. Okay, and then. Um, other than that, you know, just food spots down here in Houston. Uh, taste Bar, I go to Taste Bar a lot. That's a good food spot. But okay. I hang with some of my boys down here, you know, just chilling, stuff like that, but nothing crazy. What about, like, when it's not the season? What are you into? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> he's like, oh, okay. Uh-huh. 
No, nah, not this season. <laughs> not this not season. in season. You don't have to worry about football. You don't have to worry about Train anything else. Like, just yeah. Like when I want to have fun. Yeah, like, what are, you, what, what are you into? Um, you have hobbies? Like, is football just it? Football. Yeah, I play football? basketball a little bit. Okay, you play basketball. Yeah, All right. but I just know how to shoot. Okay, I mean, I, I'm <laughs> not surprised. I'm not um, surprised, yes. But, you know, we play the sport. You can't really do too much because you don't want to, like... You don't want to... Yeah, you wanna, you're, you're serious about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't blame you. I don't um, really do too much. Do though. you have a dog? I do. Okay, what's your dog's name? Ghost. Ghost. Okay, yeah. what kind of dog? It came across a okay. big dog. How old? He's one. He just turned one. He messing my crib up. <laughs> He's <laughs> a puppy. To, I'm about to send him back to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you brought him from Florida to yeah, Houston? Yeah, so I had him when I was at UH. Okay. But but the, like, you, would, you thought a puppy would be a good idea when you're, like, finishing college and going into the NFL? You thought that would be a good idea? <laughs> yeah. Because you had gonna, so much free time? I was going to give him to my mom. Anyway, oh, okay. And let her raise him until he got old enough. And then take and him then on. Take that him. sounds like a plan. Yeah, but. No. It's like, I, I sent him to, like, two different trainer um, places. None of them work. Why? What is he? <laughs> I don't know. He does he chew your stuff? What yeah. is he, why is he? Why is he so bad? Why is, Man, I feel like look, Ghost is probably super cute. Nah. He's definitely cute, but. Man, he going to the trash. I don't know how he get into my trash. Like he going to my trash. Oh gosh. Um, I got some furniture like for my new place. Okay. First day. No. First day. He chewed up your furniture. First day. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm finna get rid of him. But nah, I love him though. Okay, so Ghost is gonna stay with you for a little while still. Yeah, That's good I mean, to hear. He got probably one more mistake than I'm gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you got eight strikes. If you're on the ninth one, then you're out of here. You gotta go. All right. So what about for you for? This upcoming game, it's J.J. Watt game. I know you were here for a little bit of J.J. Watt, the end of his career in Houston. Like, how, like, what did, do you remember what it was like when he was here? Or what, you know, what is it like to get to see his name go up in the Ring of Honor? Um, that's a blessing for him for sure. Um, I know he's a legend out here for sure, definitely a legend. But just the just knowing like when he did play, I know he had the stadium rocking. Like even now, you still see like ninety nine jerseys, like everybody everywhere. Got, yeah, yeah, everybody <laughs> still rocking the um J.J. Watt jerseys, man. So. He on a level, he on a different level out here, man. And that's a blessing for him for sure. Awesome. We cannot wait to see you, Tank. I feel like you got you felt like you had a big game coming. I'm sure there's plenty more coming. But yeah. before you go, would you mind, since it's our brand new set, would you mind signing our wall and you. autographing it? Anywhere behind you is good. Ugh. So we can say that Tank was our very got, first guest. I don't got the best um <laughs> we'll know it's you. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much, Tank. Have a great rest of your season. Yes,